So welcome to grade seven. We're doing an activity called uh, Mystery Skype. And typically I play this with another classroom. So we'd be in a, a remote class where they would know, uh, their teacher would know where they are and where I am. And we ask yes, no questions, geographical questions, critical thinking questions. So we're gonna try it right now. Just going live here with my class. Yeah. Um, oh. So here I am. Uh, she's asked me really a, a, a quick question. Am I in Canada? Yes, I am in Canada. Am I in Western Manitoba? Yes, indeed, I am in Western Manitoba. Uh, Christian, what you got? Are you west of Saskatchewan? I am indeed west of Saskatchewan. You're narrowing it down. Keep going. Am I in British Columbia? I am not in British Columbia, so we've narrowed it down quite a bit now. So you went all the way from... Uh, how'd you get there? Let, let me ask you, how'd you get there? Because it's um, in the middle of the side of the and just stop. Well, congratulations. I had placed myself in Edmonton. We spent the first several weeks working with the kids to have them feel comfortable with these tools. And now they're something that supports our learning. So we are able to look at the same things. We were just using an interactive whiteboard before you guys came along to do our math kind of thing. So in a bricks and mortar class, I'd have a whiteboard. I'd write on a whiteboard. But now I can do it and I can share it with the, the students individually and I can also have them write for me and we can go back and forth and have authentic assessment that way. The kids have been telling me that they've been enjoying uh, coming together in the class like this way. Uh, some of them are uh, in places, they, most of them didn't know each other before the uh, beginning of the year. And so now we've built our own little community of, of learners. Uh, we meet online. I think they're having the the comfort of these short instructional blocks. I see them three or four times a day. And then uh, some asynchronous learning with them. Which they, they absolutely love the flex block time where they can go prioritize the tasks that they want to work on and do them in the order. And yet I'm available for one-on-one -on -one conferences with them. And we have an instructional intern on my call here today who's available to help them in small groups as well. So it's been a magical solution that way for us.